but he's still hungry. What the hell is going on? Ah! Hi! You're a- Ladies and gentlemen, Hungry Lamu. Welcome to a game about an evil hungry llama. Yes, this is a horror game. Don't let all the cutesy music and happiness fool you. Cause no happiness. I mean, do you see that llama back there? Brighten it up, Jay. Do you see that? That's an evil llama. Is he evil? Yeah, that's an evil llama right there. I played this game like two months ago and apparently it recently got an update. I want to see what's in this update. Apparently there are new things that potentially could add to the story. Maybe add a little bit of our understanding to Lamu. Maybe Lamu isn't evil. Maybe he, maybe he just needs a friend. It's probably not the case, but I want to learn more about Lamu. If you're excited for this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things because you're awesome. Now let's go figure out what is going on with Lamu today. Okay, I think already we have some visual updates, so that's nice. Hello, Lamu! You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. You know, I should have watched my previous playthrough of this game. Maybe, maybe like some of the narration dialogue is different. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. God, I, f I feel like the Teletubby narrator. I, I, I remember this because it's like, I, I had a whole thing about like our cherries blue, but apparently there are blue cherries out there. They exist. It's still weird though. Ugh. Yum! Weren't those cherries delicious? But Lamu is still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Huh? Oh, what's that? Huh? What? Well, if it isn't a cute little banana. Lamu loves fruits. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping Lamu. Mochi? I already feel bad. Let's go meet this banana, Lamu. I don't want to eat the banana. I know what the banana is. Talk to banana. Hello, little banana. Ooh. Bark, bark. Oh dear, looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. Well, we'll need to make the banana sleep so that Lamu can have a delicious meal. <laughs> need something hard. It's okay. The banana won't let Lamu pass. I, okay, whatever. Let's take the rock. A hearty meal, I'm sure the banana didn't mind! Despite its sour attitude, it tastes very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that, Lamu? It's a bunch of fruit friends! We don't see a lot of them around here. Their fruit should be enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. Let's go say hi to them, Lamu. Hi, everybody. Let's go play tag, because that's what this is. Tag. Looks like they want to play a game, just like the other fruit friends we've met in the past. Oh, how fun. Come on, Lamu, let's find our new friends so we can have some of their delicious fruits. All right. Do I need the rock anymore? I don't think so. Where's that other fruit friend? Yeah! See, there's that other fruit friend that's hiding behind a tree. Needs something sharp. I, I feel like that is new, like the little help tools. So that's a nice, you know, quality of life update, I suppose. There's something sharp. An ax! Hi, fruit friend. Goodbye, fruit friend. Whoa, that's a high fall! Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? mine! Maybe next time you'll be able to climb a tree too. <laughs> Off with your head! For those of you who haven't watched the original playthrough of Hungry Lamu, I apologize in advance for what is about to be revealed. Alright, gonna go do this. Gotta throw some bees. Gotta find me an apple. Ouch! The bees stung me everywhere! Yeah, how do you like them apples? <laughs> Looks like I've got to be careful next time. Mm -hmm. Have my apple! You deserve it! Delicious. 
I think I need like just fire now, right? Need something hot, yeah. I think the fire's over here, right? Oh no, that's the, oh wait, wait, no, the car's back here. Don't stray too far from home. Lamu will get lost. I'm not gonna smash the car. At least not for now. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. I was like, where's, where's the fire stick? There we go. Sorry, pear. That's hot, hot, hot. Oh geez. Couldn't you try something less burning? Well, I hope you like burned pear because it's all yours. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Weren't your fruit friends just delicious, Lamu? What a great day playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't it, Lamu? You know, really, you know, it's all great when you just top it off with some arson. Oh? What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry. There's still one more fruit friend. Oh no, what could possibly have been going on? What the hell? Sounded like Tasha. I told them not to make so much ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. Find the campsite. Well, here it is. No one's here. They've all run off to play like fruit friends. Oh. There's a whole map. Was this here before? P area. Oh, I, I, I was I was doing a number one or two. Leon is hot. He's a poo-poo head. Okay. Parked car here. Uh, it's a challenge. Ah, ah, no, oh, that's, see, that makes more sense. This was a straight up TikTok challenge. That's why everyone's dead. Keep an eye on Mochi. Well, okay. Well, ugh. can I not go over to the cursed cave? Maybe I can go over here. What, what, what do I do here? Maybe I should just like wander off this direction. The campsite isn't this way. I know it's over here. I've found the campsite. Oh, I got to press E. Okay. My bad. Where did they all go? Where's Mochi? Mochi, where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. Yeah, I'm not gonna let y'all see that. <laughs> Mochi. Oh, who did this? Poor girl. Whichever of you did this, this is messed up. Tasha, Ken, Leon, where the hell are you guys? Find your three friends. Okay, Um, I'm gonna go over here. Like, maybe I can make it, like, to the cave. Don't go beyond here. Well, maybe they are back here. I don't know. Like, I'm kind of hoping that this new update has a new ending. Because the original game had two endings. And they had to do with, like, the car and escaping or not escaping. But maybe... Hello? Hey! Lamu? Okay, yeah, I definitely didn't go this way in the original game. I just turned around. Was this all here? I mean, it's a whole bunch of nothing. It's just more forest. I just want to see if I can find the cave. Okay, yeah, I'm totally lost. I want to get to the cursed cave. I don't think I'm going the right way. Maybe I should turn around. Stop it! Oh, wait, there's the chopped down tree. Or a chopped down tree. Wait, where the heck am I? Am I all the way back here? Wait, how did that happen? Oh, okay. I, I got completely turned around. Oh, God, Tasha! She must have twisted her leg in the tree. What did this? What, who did this to her? Oh, there's the campsite again. Yeah, I got I got way turned around. What if I find my other two friends and then search for the cave? Maybe maybe that's more reasonable to the story. Well, speaking of which, <laughs> there's one. I'm gonna be sick. Why are there so many bees? Who did this to you, Ken? Ah, there we go. There's the last friend. I don't even recognize him. He's burnt to crisp. What is going on? I have to get out of here. I need to get to the car. Find the car, I will do that. However, maybe there is a cave now that's opened up. I really wanna find a cave. Like, why would you put that there if I can't like actually find it? I honestly might be searching for a cave that doesn't exist. <laughs> if that's the case, well, oh well. My bad, I suppose. My calculations are correct. The cave should be right here. It is not. It actually seriously should be here if this cave does exist. I mean, I know it does. Lamu was chilling in it. But maybe I just can't access it as a player, which that kind of sucks. I, I would have loved to have this be like a third ending. Cave! I found it! I found the cave! I found the cave! I found the cave! Is this the cursed cave they all keep talking about? Ugh, 
Better safe in there than out here. New content. What could possibly be down here? That's a lot of fruit friends! What's this? What is this? Only fruit. Ms. Mum evil? Surprise! Today's Llama's birthday! His mum and dad made him a delicious fruit cake! Oh my mum, dad! What a nice surprise! Lamu exclaimed. I didn't know you both could bake. Okay. Oh, I can interact? The llama is hungry. A children's book? The Llama is Hungry, a short story by, well, the developer of the game, Kulu. This book belongs to me, but I'm sad. Okay, this is gonna hit me in the feels, isn't it? It's a new day today! Everybody's waking up! Llama sees the sunshine and wakes up with a big yawn. It's his daily routine for this young animal. To wake up well-rested at the break of dawn. And you see a little party hat. Rumble, rumble! Llama's stomach growls. Looks like Llama's hungry for some fresh food. Oh dear me, that's the sign to go, Llama said. Time for some breakfast. Yeah, I sure hope it's good. He's all big hungry over here. What the heck is that? Wait, what is that? Is that an injection? <gasps> Was he experimented on? He misses home. Llama leaves his home, whistling as he walks, thinking of the adventure to find his meal. Tweet, tweet, toot, 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 tweet. Yeah, because that's what everyone sounds like when they whistle. He whistled gleefully. Overwhelming euphoria is what he truly feels. Is there a page ripped? How rude of me, Llama says. Something about delicious fruit, truly tasty, satisfied with his feast. They are fruits. They are fruits. Oh, burp, how rude of me. Okay, Llama pads himself satisfied. He ate everybody. Okay, cool. Oh, God. No more home. He, he ate them all. Llamas walks back home, belly very full. He reaches his home just when the moon rose. He entered the door with a smile on his face, but what he saw next made him st struck a pose. Dr. Bronze exposed his fraud. Dr. Eric Bronze, well known for his studies on interspecies genetics fusion, has recently been exposed for fraud, and his most recent studies and findings were proven to be falsified. Well, he got something right. He created a an evil llama. Specific DNA, placing it into a human body, allowing humans to have traits that were exclusive to animals. Llama's a human that's been turned into a llama! Like the Emperor's New Groove! <laughs> Wait, is this an evil version of the Emperor's New Groove? No. There's no way. Findings falsified, yeah, 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 okay. All your fault! I did not want any more after a long day! And a fun time, Llama headed to bed. He tucked himself into his warm blanket. He thought to himself, what a fun day. Reminiscing about tomorrow's banquet. The end. But he's still hungry. What the hell is going on? Ah! Hi! You're- ah! Ending three of three! There's a new ending! Oh my god, thank you! I was hoping, I was, I, was, I was hoping, that's a word. I was hoping there was a new ending. Murder at Bronze Residence. Around uh, 2100 hours, loud noises were heard within the Bronze Residences. Concerned neighbors immediately dialed for emergency services to inspect the concerning incident. What authorities found in the loving home was an absolutely terrifying ordeal, whatever. The Bronze family was well established within their friendly neighborhood. Well liked by their neighbors and even having occasional get togethers. Eric Bronze, 52, Tina Bronze, 51, and blank. <gasps> Wait! Eric Bronze, who is, who is the doctor who did all the fraud stuff, experimented on his son, turning him into a llama like the Emperor's New Groove. Wow, really? Fraudulent scientific finding six months ago. It's come to a shock that Saturday night, uh, they were found brutally murdered in their own homes with Blank's missing body from the terrifying crime scene. Gruesome scene, families stay indoors, search party conducted to look for the young who became Lamu. We can only hope the culprit would be apprehended soon. So no one knows. In in this, no one knows. That, that Lamu is the child. This was totally worth it. I was worried going in that this was not going to be worth it at all. But no, new ending and a completely, like, background story to Lamu. This is awesome.
Well, that was cool and totally worth it. Hungry Lamu got a new ending. It got some quality of life changes and we got to experience the tragedy of poor Lamu or whatever his name really is. This might be the first update of many. I would love to see Kulu go through and update the game further. Maybe more backstory, maybe more endings, maybe a part two to the story. Maybe someone else goes in who's related to Lamu, like to help figure out what happened, or like you gotta go in, take out Lamu, something like that. That'd be cool. I think it'd be cool to get like a part two, chapter two to this. Like a, like a sequel. But that's gonna be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to click on the end cards at the end of this video. Also be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already done so. I love you guys so much. Go there and make someone's day be happy. Stay happy. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. What? I was hungry.